आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विथ ए आई आर न्यूज India's glorious fight for freedom is one of the greatest struggles the modern world has ever witnessed. AIR News brings you a glimpse of the valiant struggle every day. In the history of mankind, there have been rare instances where the introductory words spoken by a person have electrified the world as much as Swami Vivekananda's groundbreaking speech on this day. in the year 1893 at the Chicago World's Parliament of Religions Sisters and brothers of America It fills my heart with joy unspeakable to rise in response to the warm and cordial welcome which you have given us I am proud to belong to a religion which has taught the world both tolerance and universal acceptance we believe not only in universal toleration but we accept all religions as true i am proud to belong to a nation which has sheltered the persecuted and the refugees of all religions and all nations of the earth the speech by swami ji has been oft referred by leaders from across the globe to remind the audience of the values which swami ji's speech stood for compassion brotherhood tolerance and acceptance when swami returned to the motherland the raja of ramanadapuram in tamil nadu who had sponsored swami's trip to chicago accorded a grand reception he also drew the carriage carrying swami vivekananda saying Swami Vivekananda is the king of kings. Vinayak Narhari Vinoba Bhave was born on 11th of September 1895 in Maharashtra's Pune district. He is considered as the spiritual successor of Mahatma Gandhi. In 1940, Vinoba was chosen by Gandhi to be the first individual satyagrahi against the British rule. Bhave also participated in the Quit India movement. Post independence, Bhave started Sarvodaya movement. He also started Bhudan movement at Pochampalli in Andhra Pradesh on 18th of April 1951. He walked all across India asking people with land to donate them, which he distributed to landless poor. He also campaigned against the slaughtering of cows. Vinoba Bhave was a scholar, a thinker, and a writer. who produced numerous books though he was deeply influenced by the gita he drew inspirations from the quran and christian teachings too he breathed his last on the 15th of november 1982 on this day subramanya bharati one of the greatest poets of modern india breathed his last Bharati was born in Ettayapuram in Tamil Nadu on 11th of December 1882. man to songs on the russian and french revolutions bharati wrote on diverse subjects kaatu veli dai kannamma nindran kaadalai enni kalikindre amudu kinai otta idargalum idargalum amudu kinai otta idargalum nila horitha Bharati met Mahatma Gandhi who was very much impressed by the multifaceted and fearless personality of Bharati and told people to take care of him 
but he wasn't taken care of. His health deteriorated and he died on 11th of September 1921. It was recorded that there were only 14 people to attend his funeral. The nightingale that sang from a solitary tree perished, but the songs linger on forever. Today is the birth anniversary of another great personality of India, Paramasivan Subbarayan. He was born on 11th of September 1889 in Salem in Tamil Nadu. He was a freedom fighter and diplomat and was the chief minister of Madras Presidency and a union minister in Jawaharlal Nehru's government. He was the father of General P.P. P. Kumaramangalam, who served as India's chief of army staff and politician Mohan Kumaramangalam. He was also the grandfather of former union minister Rangarajan Kumaramangalam. That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar, AIR News Ke Sang. See you in the next episode tomorrow.